without a family unit, the Soviet Union would, would, would have not have been able to last as long as it did. China would not be where it is now. Neither would Vietnam or Cuba. So, so what's your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, like, again, it's taking part of Marxism, all right, and blowing it up into something different. And that's what kind of the, the, the mainstream, you know, the mainstream left, I guess you could call it, the synthetic left has done, right? You know, uh, Marxism, if you read The Origin of the Family, Private Property and State by Frederick Engels, he does a very good job of kind of, you know, overthrowing the, this myth, right? And I, I remember this, right? You know, I mean, you'd see right-wingers that were against gay marriage. They'd have bumper stickers that say, you know, marriage equals one man plus one woman, and then it would have a Bible verse, right? And I'd always go up to them. I'd say, you know, it's interesting because Moses had, I think, hundreds of wives, and uh, Abraham had how many wives? And, you know, and then <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's real. For the majority of human history, there was no marriage. There were tribes of 20 to 30 people who were kind of a family all together, and they didn't even keep track of whose kid was whose kid. But <laughs> then with the origin of private property, you have the institution of marriage, and the marriage is a man and all of his slaves and all of his wives, right? And it could be however many he wanted, right? Um, you know, and then now, you know, speed up like a thousand years, we have monogamy, and now we're starting to have gay marriage, right? And that, that Marxism you know, blows to bits the myth that there's a sacred, there's like one sacred way the family should be. There's one, one father, one mother, multiple children. That is the sacred way a family must be. Well, Marxism says not necessarily, right? And, and it shows that there's a dialectical thing that as the economic base of society changes, the nature of the family structure changes, right? And that's very good because this notion that there is one sacred way, well, if you're gay or lesbian, uh, you're gonna feel like, oh, I don't belong. And I I'm not be able to able to have a family the way I want it. Or, you know, I mean, maybe there's, you know, a, a woman who wants to have children and she can, she has the economic means. She wants to be a single mother. She, you know, right. she, you know, I mean, you know, that Marxism says, well, this, this, this lie that is used by oppressive institutions, that there's one sacred way it must be, not necessarily. And with gender, it does the same thing. It shows that gender expression is very different throughout history, right? That some right. indigenous tribes had many different genders, uh, you know, and that, uh, that, that you know, in, in some cultures, men act some ways, and in some cultures, men act very differently, right? right. And, that, you know, and that Marxism is good for that. Now, that's different, though, than a lot of the mainstream left. Take that and then they say, like, well, it's not that the family changes based on economic circumstances. We're going to change the family uh, based on what we think is the more egalitarian way of doing things. Right. We're not going to just let people live however they want to live and recognize that this idea that there's a sacred way of doing things is not right. We're going to actively tell people they shouldn't have a family unit. Right. right. We're going to actively tell people if you take on a traditional gender role, you're inappropriate and you need to be. Right. right. And that's a different kind of thing, okay? And people have the right to not live, to live however they want in terms of a family. People have the right to express their gender however they want. Um, but at the end of the day, right, the, 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 this idea that we should be actively deconstructing things, we should be mobilizing right. active deconstruction is very different than what Marx was talking about. And I think that's, the right wing says it's a, it's a, it's a Marxist war on the family. I don't right. think it's that. I think it's that, that people have taken Marxism and run in a different direction. Right. Yeah. And I, I think um, to that point, uh, what we kind of see, the, the kind of destructive mentality of a lot of the synthetic left and, um, you know, the people kind of LARPing as leftists is that they want to destroy. So they look at the kind of monogamous um, relationship and they want to break that down. But there's no talk of actually, ex what about expanding the family? What about including grandparents, including, you know, uncles and aunts, having larger families? So when you, and I noticed, I don't want to sound identity politics here, but I do notice this specifically with white, white anarchists generally talk quite a bit about this. Um, let's like get rid of, you know, couples. Let's, let's just live all on our own, you know, this stuff. And the thing is, when you go to that message to colonized people, who colonial institutions have tried to break up communities, tribes, families. When you go to people of a colonized background and say, we want to get rid of the family, that is not a winning strategy. And you hear tons of people, specifically um, conservatives of ethnic minority backgrounds, discuss this going, the left want to destroy families and to colonize people. That's a serious, like scary thing that people have dealt with for generations. And for many people keeping the family together is seen as a sign of resistance against colonization. So when you hear some people on the left talking about like destroying the family, that freaks people out. Like we're talking specifically about the nuclear family being the only model. It's not wrong to have that model, 
And, you know, it's not wrong to want to just live on your own, not have a partner if you want. You know, tons of people want to do that too. But let's, instead of talking about limiting the family, let's talk about expanding it. And that's a winning message, you know.